Hello and welcome to this week's News Bulletin Roundup at the International News Channel. Let's take a look at the headlines. Three students killed and eight injured in a Michigan school shooting. New Brunswick doctors to be suspended for not getting COVID-19 vaccination. Barbados cuts ties with Queen Elizabeth. Olympic tennis star Peng Shui says she is safe and well in China. Biden administration expected to toughen testing requirements for travelers. Trudeau tells Canadians that Omicron variant is watched very closely. Hong Kong plans to ban Canadian travelers from entering the city. U.S. Supreme Court revisits abortion rights and Roe v. Wade. To begin, a 15-year-old student shot at his peers attending a Michigan high school. The horrific incident has left three students dead and eight others wounded. Several students are in critical condition. One 14-year-old is currently on a ventilator and the motives surrounding the shooting are not known at this time while the suspect has been arrested. Over in Canada, fewer than 10 doctors in New Brunswick are said to be suspended for not getting vaccinated against COVID-19. The exact number is not known at this time. Dr. Ed Scholenberg, the registrar of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of New Brunswick, told CBC News that these doctors could put patients at risk. Moreover, that they are not leading by example. Finally, Schollenberg stressed that the health authorities in the province have given these doctors months to provide proof of vaccination. In other news, almost after 400 years since the English ships arrived into the shores of Barbados, the region has cut ties with the British Crown. Specifically, they removed Queen Elizabeth II as their head of state in a spectacular ceremony. Prince Charles and Rihanna were some who attended this ceremony. Notably, the prince's presence caused some discomfort as many are descendants of the slaves which the British brought over to the island. Ultimately, though, the day was marked by celebration and some were happy to see the royal presence at the ceremony. Possessing a clear sense of who we are and what we are capable of achieving in the year 2021, we now turn our vessel's bow towards the new republic. We do this so that we may seize the full substance of our sovereignty. Turning now to China, the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach held a video call with Olympian Peng Shui. This was followed by global concern about her whereabouts after Shui spoke out about sexual abuse relating to the Vice Premier Zheng Go Li. After this, people on social media began expressing concern using the hashtag where is Peng Shui? The United Nations and the Women's Tennis Association have called for an independent investigation into her sexual assault. In the 30-minute video call, Peng thanked the committee for their concern, but stated that she was safe. This was her first known direct contact with any officials outside of China since the accusations. Meanwhile, in response to the Omicron variant of the coronavirus, the Biden administration is expected to toughen their testing requirements for international travel to the United States. These measures would apply to vaccinated and unvaccinated people alike. These are still being finalized, but one of the policies which is being considered is that all travelers will have to be tested for COVID-19 a day before boarding their flight into America. Fortunately for us, the PCRs that we mostly use would pick up. In other Omicron news, five cases of the variant have been confirmed in Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has highlighted that the situation is being watched very closely. Although the border rules have become more rigid as travelers from seven countries are banned. These include South Africa, Mozambique, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Lesotho and Eswatini. Obviously, we're watching very, very closely the situation with Omicron. Uh, we know that even though Canada has very strong border me measures now, we need uh, uh, vaccinations to come to Canada. We need uh, pre-departure tests. We do testing on arrival. Uh, there may be more we need to do, and we'll be looking at it very carefully. Meanwhile, Hong Kong has recently banned non-residents from entering the city. Additionally, they plan to ban travelers from Australia, 
Canada, Israel, and six European countries. Since the World Health Organization has stated that the Omicron variant is of concern, residents of Hong Kong may return, but they are required to quarantine for three weeks. Lastly, the United States Supreme Court is currently made up of majority Republicans who have been fighting to revisit the landmark of 1973 Roe v. Wade decision. This decision made abortion a constitutional right before a fetus can survive outside of the womb. The justices will decide whether to uphold the law in Mississippi, which bans abortion after 15 weeks, which is earlier than the current established point of before 24 weeks. Moreover, the court is also weighing in the Texas law, which bans abortion after six weeks. Many women do not know they are pregnant within the six week mark. The court could do one of three things. Let the law stand, uphold the current president, or overturn Roe completely. That's all for today. You're watching the International News Channel. I'm Julia Cosby. Remember to subscribe, like, turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss any of our latest content.